today's video is uh, a little bit different. Um, so I'm out here on this in this location. It's probably about an hour from uh, Grants Pass. It's about an hour drive. Um, I'm trying to set lines in in this tree, and there's a tree back there. I don't know if you can see it. That one back there. Uh, this one I measured with my drone. It's like 215 feet. Um, my whole goal today is just to get a throw line set about halfway up. There's a spot I got picked out. Um, if I can reach this certain spot, I'll be pretty happy about it. I'm probably going to attempt from right here. And uh, let's see, there's a spot. There's some good branches right in there that I'm shooting for. Um, I feel like the big shot could probably get a throw ball that high, but uh, I'm gonna have this new little contraption thing that I made, and I don't know how it's gonna work, but uh, basically it's a it's a wrist rocket with uh, a fishing reel on it, and I got this is one ounce. I think this is one ounce. And uh, I got some other size ones here. If, if that's not heavy enough, then I got two ounces and four ounces. I think the four is probably too heavy. But uh, a couple things I'm worried about is, uh, so when I, I built a crossbow that shot arrows, basically the same concept. And uh, issues I was having were if the line was caught up at all, when you'd shoot the arrow, it would just pull right off the right off the string and you'd lose the arrow. So um, I might do a couple practice attempts to make sure all this line's coiled up right. And then another thing is uh, shooting that up there and it, not having it come down, like not enough weight. And then third thing I'm worried about is it getting wrapped around something. So and not be able to pull it back out so um when i do it i'm just gonna shoot up there and try to get it through any part of that canopy and i'm not gonna slow the line down i'm just gonna let it go until i either run out of line or it hits the ground because uh i don't want to try to stop it and then have it come down and like wrap around something so let me get geared up and I'll turn the camera back on. All right, here's attempt number one. I don't think it went over a limb. Attempt number two. try the two ounce weight now uh, that last one the the line was caught up in here or something and it just the ball ripped off like I was talking about so we'll see what the, the two ounce weights like I feel like that one ounce weight wasn't going far enough I felt like uh, I could shoot the big shot as high as that thing was going Off. 
came right off the string so yeah uh, another thing i wanted to say is uh i'm doing another axe giveaway uh at three th once i hit three thousand subscribers so i'm like 70 subscribers away from from hitting a three thousand mark um once that happens i'm going to be giving another axe away so um stay tuned for that we're gonna do one more attempt i put a another one ounce ball on i'm kind of thinking this thing is dumb i feel like uh i feel like the big shot could could get as high and it avoids this whole fishing line thing so the whole reason behind this is uh like the crossbow and arrow uses the fishing line and it launches way farther farther than you can get any throw line and then once you get that over then you tie the throw line on and pull the pull the throw line through and then you tie your rope on and pull your rope through if, in case you guys are wondering why i'm even trying this fishing line thing that's that's kind of the process so i'm going to do one more shot and then I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna do one more shot with the one ounce weight, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna pull out the big shot and and just kind of see what the difference is. This is all just an experiment. This is probably all wasted money and time, but came off again the line was stuck in there all right we got one more one ounce weight so we might as well try it one more time uh that last that last one was my fault i didn't flip the bail so it just pulled straight on it and the ball came right off so that was my fault so we'll flip the bail this time really got to make sure the string isn't caught on anything make sure it's not caught on anything on the ground either we're up over something but I feel like uh, the big shot get higher than that we'll pull a throw line up there and see what happens see what it's over the, the ball's coming down though so it's heavy enough there it is i can see it over there That's why I painted it blue so I could see it. So we'll tie a throw line on and see where it ends up. All right, throw line connected. Let's see how this works out. It's not that high up. I feel like it's probably only like 65, 70 feet where it went over. I feel like the big shot can get higher than that. But we'll set this throw line and uh, then we'll try with the big shot see if we can get it higher if we can get it higher then we'll just pull this throw line out and and redo it i feel like this thing might be good for like accuracy if you're like in a park or something and you wanted a super accurate tie-in that wasn't extremely high uh, all right throw line just came over Real kind of sucks. Okay, that was a success.
All right, now we're using a big shot. Uh, 14 ounce weight. I know I can get higher with this thing. already higher in it. That was a bad shot, but it's already a higher shot. I'm going to try it again. Alright. I got the line coiled up in there a little better. Last time when it came out, it tangled up a couple times. So, here's a temp number two. There's a set of limbs I'm going for. I'll be pretty stoked if I got them over those. Oh, I got right below it. Yeah, that's a good shot if I can get the ball to come down. This line sucks. tie two lines together all right so I had to tie two lines together but uh, the balls on the ground over there I got to tie in at about probably close to 100 feet maybe a little over 100 feet okay and I'm gonna measure this one over here looks like it might be taller uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly the drone and measure it. So uh, I'll I'll record that too. Drone stuck in tree. Definitely wasn't prepared for this. In my freaking tennis shoes and crap. But I think it's about to rain, so I want to get that drone out of here. feet up and I don't see it um, the last I seen on the video of it it was right up against the trunk so I was thinking it was either on that or this it might just be on that one or it might be way up there well I think I'm gonna have to leave it for now Come back with the right gear i'll leave a throw line right here and then at least i'll have a, a tie in to right there which is a good 100 feet so the last i seen 
the camera it looked like it was facing right towards the trunk but it could have been out on a limb facing towards the limb so i don't see it i'm gonna come back with the right stuff i wasn't prepared to climb a tree today so